Hey, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel, my friend. In this video, I'm sharing eight Dollar Tree candle hacks and DIYs that can be used for just about any occasion or any season. And we're getting started right now. For this first idea, all you need to do is grab some of Dollar Tree's rub on transfer sticker letters and a Dollar Tree pillar candle. I like to use masking tape or even painter's tape to get my letters straight. You don't have to do this. I'm just not great at eyeballing. Optional, you can add a bow with some of Dollar Tree's at Christmas ribbon. And that is it, my friend. I made two of these. I use the white candle, the black candle. I love the way both of them look with the gold lettering or just pick up some of Dollar Tree's window clings for an oldie but a goodie idea. These are not stickers. They don't have a sticky adhesive on the back. They just stick to, or they cling to anything that has a smooth glass surface. Grab a few more of Dollar Tree's pillar candles and we are gonna melt these down on the stovetop, low to medium heat. You definitely don't want your water boiling. So I set my stove between four and six. Once your wax is melted, fish out your wicks Set those aside because we are going to use those in a second and then grab some cookie cutters. You can find these at Dollar Tree. They come in two or three to a pack. And here's the best way I found to do this. You're going to pour just a little bit of wax on the bottom of the cookie cutter, place a toothpick in that wax. And when the small layer of wax cools where it's holding the toothpick up, then pour the rest of your wax. I hope that made sense. I'm sure you could see what I was doing. Then throw them in your cooler because that's gonna make the wax pretty much jump out of the cookie cutter molds. Once you pop your cookie cutter candles out of the mold, then pull out your toothpick and fish your wicks through the hole. And that is it. Now save the extra long part of the wick because you're gonna make extra candles with that. And these look amazing. <laughs> Y'all, I really love these. I made these for a Halloween party. These are super cool. And of course, you can make these for Christmas or Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, uh, probably 4th of July and President's Day too. I mean, whatever they sell cookie cutters for, you can make a candle for that. Now Dollar Tree will sell all kinds of colors of these pillar candles, but remember they're not scented. There's no scent to these. So if you want to add some scent or if you want to add a splash of even more color, you're going to need to use scented wax melts. I'm using a red cinnamon scented wax melt. So my wax will be orange. Then you can pick up one of these little decorative dishes from Dollar Tree, which actually aren't decorative. They are oven safe, microwave safe, dishwasher safe, totally safe to make a candle with and fill it up with your wax. Then to add a little bit of flair to our candle, we're gonna add some cinnamon and just shake that across the top. Once the wax has cooled enough where there's a slight film over the top of the candle. So if you add the cinnamon right after you pour it in, the cinnamon will sink to the bottom. So just give it like five or 10 minutes and that is it. This looks really cool and it smells amazing. Grab one of Dollar Tree's Big old soup mugs, you'll find this in the kitchen section. These are microwave dishwasher safe and you're going to melt down your candle and fill up your soup bowl, but leave about two inches at the top. Then take some green wax melts. You can melt these in the microwave. It took me about, I think 90 seconds and the wax was good and melted. Stir it up because you don't want your wax to be too hot. We're using the same trick that we used for the Halloween candles by using a cookie cutter, filling up just a little bit in the bottom, adding a toothpick. And once that's stable, you're pouring the rest of your wax in, throwing it in the cooler for 10 to 15 minutes. So our wax will pop right out of the molds and then removing the toothpick to fish our wick through the hole. And once you have that in place where you want it, you're going to add the rest of your wax. And y'all, <laughs> good golly, Miss Molly, I love the way this turned out. I had it pictured in my mind looking good, but in real life, it looked way better than it looked in my mind. I liked it so much that I made another one for Halloween. The only difference for the Halloween candle is I used a silicone mold instead of cookie cutters, and I did not put the silicone mold in the cooler. I let it dry or cool at room temperature so I could carefully poke a toothpick through the middle and then everything else is the same. I fished the wick through the hole, added extra wax, and that was it. I love these both. I go back and forth. Is Halloween my favorite? Is Christmas my favorite? I'm gonna have to default to Christmas being my favorite one because I just love Christmas. I love the reds, the greens. It's my favorite decorating season. Grab yourself a pool noodle and cut off the smallest 
piece and then pick up one of Dollar Tree's glass candle vases. This is the coolest hack and you can decorate with any season for this. You're gonna glue your pool noodle to the bottom of your vase and you're gonna fill it up with whatever decorative filler your heart desires or whatever season it is. Now, Halloween's coming up. I already mentioned we're throwing a Halloween party. So I added some candy corn and then Dollar Tree will sell a four pack of tea light glass candle holders. Add that over the hole and then continue filling up your candle holder, your vase. And that is it. How cool is this? It's so pretty. And you know what? If you didn't want to use real candles, like I think this would be great for a classroom party. You could totally use Dollar Tree's tea light candles. And another great glass candle holder to do this idea, a similar idea with. Are there bubble vases? These are so gorgeous, so high-end looking. You can use some of Dollar Tree's pine cones or throw in some candy canes. These aren't candy canes, they're peppermints, but you get the idea. I mean, y'all, this even works for gender reveal parties. For real, you can do this little hack for just about any season or occasion. Grab some orange wax melts and we're gonna melt them down in the microwave just like we did for the Christmas tree DIY, the best ever candle I ever made DIY, and melt it for about, it took me a minute and a half, but everyone's microwave's gonna be a little bit different. Then one of Dollar Tree's Christmas silicone mold. Now we're gonna make some black candies just the same using one of Dollar Tree's black candles and you wanna add a scent to your candle because remember Dollar Tree's pillar candles, they're not scented. I had a black candle that was highly scented that I just threw in with Dollar Tree's pillar candle to melt down, but the pillar candles, the black ones, are a blue purple base. So any blue or purple scented wax would work the same. Of course, you could do red and white for Christmas, but why not do Halloween candy, the black and orange Halloween candy that nobody likes in real life, but looks really cool to decorate with. And of course, Dollar Tree sells all kinds of silicone molds for every season. So you could do this hack for every season. Pick up a white and a yellow pillar candle from Dollar Tree, stovetop, low to medium heat, 25 to 35, maybe 45 minutes, like we've done this whole video, and then pick up one of these really cool large glass mugs from Dollar Tree. And I say large, but this is actually the smaller size. They sell these in two different sizes. Just pour half of your yellow candle into your mug, put the yellow candle back on the stove top and add some red wax, preferably scented red wax. Because remember, these candles aren't scented. Why not add a little scent in your life? Now we just made a layered candle. So you poured your yellow, let that cool enough, poured the orange, let that cool, poured the white, and ta-da, we have a gorgeous candy corn candle. But you know, like all these DIYs, this could be done for any season or any occasion. And you have made it to the last idea, my friend. And if you're still here, will you give this video a thumbs up? I always forget to get to ask, but it does help out the channel. Anyways, all you have to do is pick up one of the extra large tins sold at Dollar Tree, round up all of your almost burnt down candles or all the leftover wax you have from making any DIY in this video and make a catch-all candle. I've done this before. This works best if you use complementing scents it's a great way to get rid of all the waxes you have stored up in your to-be-used cabinet or I don't wanna waste anything cabinet, and it looks great. I've also done this for Christmas. If you don't like what's on the outside of the tin, these are metal, they can be easily spray painted. And like I said, it's a great catch-all, use up all your waxes candle. If you are still here, you are the real MVP. Thank you so, so much for watching, my friend. My next video will probably be Christmas. So much love to you, and I will catch you next time.